Now, they make some people feel squeamish, but maggots have been used for centuries to help heal wounds. And now Welsh scientists are using them to develop a new antibiotic. According to the research team at Swansea University, it could help tackle the looming crisis of bacteria-resistant drugs. Here's Rhiannon Wilkins. Under the microscope at this lab at Swansea University are creepy crawlies that hold the key to new medicine. They're not the cuddliest of creatures, but maggots have antibacterial properties that help treat and heal wounds. We've been working on this uh, maggot project since 2001. When I first and now, led by Dr Yamni Nigam, they've identified it's the minute secretions these maggots leave behind that kill some bacteria. They want to use it to create an antibiotic. We've done some further work, by biochemical work, to try and isolate this particular molecule that's quite a small molecule that we know um, has a really potent effect on several quite nasty um, species of bacteria. It can either be um, a topical antibiotic, so you would put it on a wound uh, as a cream or as a lotion, or you could, if, if the toxicity tests are good on it, we could use it as a systemic antibiotic, so it's one that you would take orally, perhaps for a chest infection or any other infection that you might have. So, you know, we have hope for it to, to perhaps be used in many different ways. While scientists working in this lab concentrate on developing new medicine, live maggots have been used for centuries to help heal wounds. They're available on the NHS for people like Brian Miller, who has diabetes. A few years ago, he had an infected wound on his toe, which wouldn't heal. So hundreds of maggots were drafted in to help. You see them around and you think, is that all fancy, all those crawling all over me? But they, they were white. They were like grains of rice, perfectly white when they went on. When they took them off after three days, they had increased, they were about three times as big. All the infection, all the pus and the stuff, they, what they get with these infections, they're gone. Maggots may have won Brian over, but there are plenty of others who still need convincing. And that's why Dr Nigam and her team have launched the Lover Maggot campaign. And these are the size that we'd use them on wounds. They may have a bad reputation, but maggots are doing their bit to help nurse us back to health. And in the near future, it's highly likely we'll be seeing new drugs created by them in our hospitals and medicine cabinets. Rhiannon Wilkins reporting. Time for tonight's sport now.